Well, good afternoon on this Tuesday. Yeah, we had our clouds and our humidity today, and it's warm out there and beginning to get a little windy, too. Now, that wind is really going to pick up tomorrow, and then we're watching more changes. We have this cold front still coming in Thursday, but now there's some question on if it'll go through as fast as originally thought. I'll explain in a minute. Outside right now, though, you can look across the area, and it's pretty cloudy out there and very humid. 80 degrees right now in Rockport with a 17 mile an hour breeze. Now, wind again picking up this afternoon with all that humidity. Beeville sitting at 81 and uh, we're seeing that 16 mile an hour breeze in Beeville as well as Kingsville with 84 degrees. Feeling more like 90 though when you factor in that humidity out there in Kingsville and Corpus Christi with 80 and a 15 mile an hour breeze right now. So as we go through um, tonight, we are going to see that wind dying down this evening. You can see future winds showing the wind speeds coming down a little bit overnight, but it'll be breezy tonight. Those winds will continue to pick up again uh, tomorrow as we head into the morning hours. So this is a look at the wind speed forecast and here's eight o'clock in the morning. Wind speeds in the teens, nothing too dramatic, but watch how fast those winds go up as we head into the afternoon and those wind speeds sustained are looking to be close to 25 miles an hour. That's a pretty good wind. And to top that off, they could gust as high as 40 miles an hour. So with that said, it wouldn't hurt to have small items in your yard, such as plastic lawn furniture and things secured or bring them in and as well as those garbage cans tomorrow. Temperatures are going to warm up tomorrow too and it's still very humid. Uh, we'll see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow, not a lot, and those temperatures heating into the 80s and 90s with 84 at Corpus Christi to 91 at Alice tomorrow and Orange Grove hitting 90, 78 at Port Aransas and that wind increasing. So we have the warm humid air flowing in now, a lot of low clouds around the area. The next thing we're watching is our, our are two things actually and we have a cold front which is sitting out here in the west you see it right here now in the upper levels remember the weather is steered by what's happening above the surface not necessarily just at the surface this front is sitting down at the ground level but above there's a big upper low spinning back here now the forecast models in the past 24 hours have slowed that down a little bit nevertheless you can see on future tracker still it looks like our better chances of rain come early in the day Thursday Thursday. There may be a few showers linger Thursday evening now. That has been added. And then it looks like it should clear out by Friday. But that is starting to become more in question. And again, the reason why is because of this upper level low. Forecast models in the past 24 hours have really slowed it down. And uh, this one is the faster of the two. This one swings it through here by early Saturday, drawing us out. But we have another model, the European model, which doesn't do that. It slows it down. So with that said, I want you to keep an eye on the forecast. I know we have buck days coming up, as well as you may have outdoor uh, activities or plans or work you need to get done. Uh, there's the potential that rain could be added to the forecast for Friday and Saturday because of the speed of that upper low. And again, a faster solution, which we've been counting on, looks drier. But if it slows down, as the trends are starting to show, we may be seeing some rain. So buck days still looks pretty good. We do have those uh, better chances of rain coming in for Wednesday night and Thursday morning and then it looks like we'll see the temperatures coming down a little bit as we head into the weekend but it still looks fairly warm. Back to you.